Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you another project in Java. So again this, let me close uh, projects. So in this video we are going to show you a demo of form management system. So how a farmer can manage their system. So this is related to the farmer field. So uh, let's talk about the technology that we are using JSP. Uh, you can see the resources here. So it's using JSP and for the server side it's using servlet. Uh, like uh, are also following the MVC architecture and build on over the uh, Maven tool. So to deploy the application we are using Tomcat server and we are going to run it. So let's run it over the browser and you can see the Tomcat version 8.5 we have okay uh, so this is the layout in the front end and uh, it's a header and these are the front home page you can see uh, let's log in as an admin and check what admin can perform over there so for that i'm going to uh, use my backend and so as a backend we are using mysql so let me search for the home system and Okay, that's it. so here we have database and the database we have a contract table, customer table, we have crop equipments and pesticides, insecticides and users and these are the tables are there. So let's find the data of user table. So I just right click on the table and click on select to open data limit housing. And you can see here we have a user table. In the user table we have a two multiple two multiple roles in the application. So mainly we have a two role. The first one will be admin. So you can say that all our ID has a burn it means the reader that user that particular entry will work as an admin. And the user this is with working with role ID two and it will um, treat as a customer. So let's log in <coughs> by an admin. So for admin you can see the username is admin. So I'm going to use this admin username and password over there. So admin and the password you can see admin123. So I'm going to copy the same and sign in. So as I sign as admin, admin can check his detail. Also admin can view all the customers in this application. Also admin have authority to add a crops. So these are the entry that admin should need to update over there. So let's say uh, testing crop, we just add a new data. And select the start month, let's say early May, choose crop images. So let's say, let's say I'm going to use this image or uh, this image for testing. And okay, save crop, so data is saved. So this will be now under the report section, uh, we can view the crops. So you can say recently added crop is there. Also, it has the option to edit the image or delete the image. So you can click on the edit image, you can select the new image and click on the edit. Also, <coughs> has the option to delete the records. So you can delete the record. Similarly, he can add new equipments. So these are the if uh, admin wants to add any new equipments, he can add. Uh, also, we have an option to add uh, pesticides and in pesticides. So accordingly. You can add the records in the database and here we have the same options to view the records so you can view the records also delete uh, any image or like, update the records or something so under the welcome admin it has the option to my profile change password and log out so let's log out and now logged in as an admin here okay so for the user for the I have logged out as an admin and now I'm going to move to the another user. So what user can perform over there? So I can use with this user. If you want to register as a new user, you can click on the sign up button. You can fill all the details, save the data. And then you can go log in and log into the user. To save time, I'm using this uh, user, which is already in the database. And let's sign in there. And user can check the detail, which is added by the admin. So crop and also it has the option to search. So you can detail check all the details about them. Equipment, pesticides, and 
this is a welcome thing for the user okay. so now that's it about the form management system so now talk how can you get the source code if you need the source code or you want to learn the programming or the project development in java you can join us <coughs> also check the link in description box that will help you to find the project and you can contact us over the whatsapp over the gmail and we are also providing remote support so if you want if you worried like how can you going to run that project at your machine how can you set up the uh, server how can you uh, install the database and how can you manage the database so we will help you remotely to do that things so it will be easy to understand you on the line okay uh, also for the uh, you can join our training sessions for the live project developer